Griffin Bruxelloys. The Griffin Bruxelloys or Brussels Griffin is a breed of toy dog, named for their city of origin, Brussels, Belgium. The Griffin Bruxelloys may refer to three different breeds, the Griffin Bruxelloys, the Griffin Belgi and the Petit Brabant Zone. Identical in standard except for coat and color differences, in some standards they are considered varieties of the same breed, much like Belgian Shepherd dogs. History The three variations of this dog, the Brussels Griffin, Griffin Bruxelloise, the Belgian Griffin, Griffin Belgi, and the Petit Brabant Zone, all descend from dog called a Smoche, a rough-coated, small terrier-like dog kept in stables to eliminate rodents, similar to the Dutch Smochand. The little wire-haired dog in the foreground of the Jan van Eyck painting the Arnolfini marriage is thought to be an early form of this breed. In Belgium coachmen were fond of their alert little griffins to curry, wiry-coated stable dogs, and in the 19th century, they bred their griffins with imported toy dogs. That breeding with the pug and King Charles Spaniel brought about the current breed type, but also brought the short black coat that led to the Petit Brabant zone, which was originally a fault in the breed. The Spaniels also brought the rich red and black and tan color of the modern Griffin Bruxelloise and Griffin Belgi. The Griffin Bruxelloise grew in popularity in the late 19th century with both workers and noblemen in Belgium. The first Griffin Bruxelloise was registered in 1883 in the first volume Belgium's Kennel Club stud book, The Lever des Origines saint L.O.S.H. The popularity of the breed was increased by the interest of Queen Marie Henriette a dog enthusiast who visited the annual dog shows in Belgium religiously, often with her daughter, and became a breeder and booster of Griffin Bruxelloise, giving them international fame and popularity. Many dogs were exported to other countries, leading to Griffin Bruxelloise clubs in England, 1897, and Brussels Griffin clubs in the U.S., 1945. The First World War and Second World War proved to be a disastrous time for the breed. Wartime is difficult on any dog breed, and the recovering numbers after the First World War were set back by increased vigilance in breeding away from faults such as webbed toes. By the end of the Second World War, Belgium had almost no native Griffin Bruxelloise left, and it was only through the vigilance of dedicated breeders, in the UK particularly, that the breed survived at all. The breed has never been numerous or popular, but had a brief vogue in the late 1950s, and now is generally an uncommon breed. There has been a recent increase in interest in the United States due to the appearance of a griffin in the movie, As Good As It Gets, and also because of a general increase in interest in toy dogs. Description The Brussels griffin is typically a small breed with a sturdy frame. The average adult griffin stands from 9 to 11 inches, 230 to 280 millimeters, tall, and weighs 8 to 10 pounds, 4 to 5 kilograms. They have domed heads, short noses, and an underbite. Their human-like facial features are often likened to that of a Niwak. The griffin comes in two coat variants, wiry slash rough and smooth coat. Their hair, not fur, can be red, black and tan, or black and reddish in color. The short hair griffin requires little grooming while the wiry slash rough coat griffin requires weekly grooming attention. Temperament The griffin Bruxelloise is known to have a huge heart, and a strong desire to snuggle and be with its master. They display a visible air of self-importance. A griffin should not be shy or aggressive, but they are very emotionally sensitive, and because of this, should be socialized carefully at a young age. Griffins should also be alert, inquisitive and interested in their surroundings. Griffins tend to bond with one human more than others. In fact, griffins are very good with children provided they are not teased. They are not very patient but do love to play. Griffins tend to get along well with other animals in the house, including cats, ferrets, and other dogs. Dot, however, they can get into trouble because they have no concept of their own relative size and may attempt to dominate dogs much larger than themselves. Health Griffins have relatively few inherited health problems, but should still be tested for congenital defects, the most serious of which are syringomyelia, SM, and Chiari-like malformation, CM. The typical lifespan of a griffin is somewhere in the range of 10 to 15 years. Birthing Griffins usually have no trouble whelping on their own, but sometimes complications can necessitate a caesarean section. The size of a litter is typically 1 to 3 puppies. The size of the litter often determines the extent of these complications. Litters of 6 are not unheard of. When they are born, the puppies only weigh a few ounces, about 100 grams, and are small enough to fit in the palm of an adult's hand. They can get leg and heart problems from an early age. Cleft palate. 
One issue that is typically fatal for the puppies is having a cleft palate. It results in the puppy not receiving nourishment from the mother and eventually starvation. It is uncommon but, depending on the size of the cleft, it is possible for the puppy to survive whereas it becomes older surgery can be done to close the hole. Eyes Most have large eyes that may require rechecks from a veterinarian. Heat stroke Although griffins have a shortened snout, heat stroke is not a major concern for them as it is with other flat-faced breeds. The breed's shortened muzzle may cause respiratory problems in extreme heat, but overall they tolerate both hot and cold weather well. As with any breed, owners must use common sense and not leave them outdoors without protection from the elements or subject them to rigorous exercise during extreme temperatures, so let them in your house for cool air and some water. Syringomyelia Syringomyelia SM, is a condition affecting the brain and spine, causing symptoms ranging from mild discomfort to severe pain and partial paralysis. Syringomyelia is characterized by fluid-filled cavities within the spinal cord. SM occurs secondary to obstruction of cerebrospinal fluid, CSF, especially if that obstruction is at the foramen magnum. To date the condition has been also reported in Cavalier King Charles Spaniels, King Charles Spaniels, Yorkshire Terriers, Maltese Terriers, Chihuahuas, Miniature Dachshunds, Hunts, Miniature Slash Toy Poodles, Bichon Frise, Pugs, Shih Tzus, Pomeranians, Boston Terriers, French Bulldogs, a Pekingese, a Miniature Pincher, Mixed Breeds, and a couple of cats. Not all dogs with SM have clinical signs. The presence of signs is correlated to the width of the syrinx and extent of spinal cord dorsal horn damage. Syrinxes can progressively expand in a dog which is asymptomatic in early life may eventually experience pain. Griffin Bruxelois in popular culture. Griffin